how are you? I am so excited. Why am I? <laughs> so excited that I can't speak. Why am I excited? Because I have the Olympic fever. Totally have it. And it's catching. So don't get too close to the screen because I'm telling you, it's on fire. Are you watching? It's incredible. I am a big, big fan of the Olympics. Watch them all the time. And cry like a baby. I'm so happy for these athletes. I'm so happy for their parents and their coaches and the countries. Just all of it. Did you see Apollo Ono? Apollo is a rock star. Record medal. And in, in, in honor of, uh, of Mr. Ono, that's what I call him. I've got the little uh, Apollo Ono uh, soul patch going on. I don't know if you can see that. You probably can't because there's tons of gray in it. Because unlike Apollo, I'm not a young man. As a matter of fact, I started going gray when I was in my early 20s, and this happened around the same time. So I got the double lottery whammy in the genetic code. Gray hair really early, and bald really early. Fantastic. Uh, <laughs> but the Olympics are on fire, and Vancouver looks so gorgeous. As a matter of fact, yeah, that's, that's the police. They are coming to take me away because I have the Olympic fever. Uh, as a matter of fact, I've been to Vancouver once for a day, and it was absolutely fantastic and in honor of Vancouver. This is the closest thing that I have. I have a mug from Victoria, British Columbia. I've been to Victoria, British Columbia for a couple of days, and it was gorgeous. Um, I've spent many a time, times up in Canada. I spent a lot of time in uh, Montreal and Quebec, beautiful. I actually lived in Toronto when I was a wee lad with my uh, folks in the Greek part of Toronto. Shout out to uh, my Greek peeps in Toronto. I love Canada, and now I want to spend more time in Vancouver. But the, the games, they just got me on fire. They're fantastic. And then the commercials. Have you seen that one commercial? I think it's for Procter & Gamble, where they're showing the athletes as little kids, and it's really dramatic, and, and shot very well. And the, seriously, what is going on in my neighborhood? Do you hear this? Maybe you don't. And maybe it's just me hearing sirens in my head. Anyway, this one commercial about um, these, these, these kids that are athletes and you're seeing them do all these events and the tagline at the very end is something about um, to, to your mom, you'll always be a kid or something like that. I forget what it is, but it's beautiful, beautifully shot. The music is inspirational. I'm weeping by the end of it. I'm telling you, I've got the Olympic fever. It's on fire. Uh, but that's not what we're here to talk about. So I do want to know, are you watching the Olympics? Are you seeing what's going on? It's spectacular. Um, okay, we're going to put this down because we have... Oh, yeah. We <laughs> have that, that familiar sound means it's tip of the day. And tip of the day, I'm, going, I'm breaking tradition and I'm going away from um, my normal tip of the day, which is on the Angela Home website because I get tons of... Tons, tons, tons of questions and emails, smoke signals, and um, and uh, and skywriting. Uh, I do, I do about color all the time. People really want to use color, but there's this fear still. And you know what's happening out in the world. I think manufacturers are figuring that out. That, that we all want to use color. We all love color on our walls. But there's a hesitation because it's not so much the fear of color. It's the fear of getting it wrong. And a lot of paint stores and paint manufacturers are putting out these handy-dandy books now. This happens to be from uh, Valspar. And they give you all these great color combinations, depending on what hues you're going for. And they show you what they can look like in a room. And this is a perfect example of a color you may normally not want to pick. But then when you see it in the room, it looks pretty awesome. I don't know if you can see that. But it's very green, my friends. And I don't know if you can see the trim. The trim is not necessarily white. It's sort of like an off-white. Uh, but it's gorgeous. As a matter of fact, the colors exactly are a Lindhurst jade on the wall and an estate cream uh, on the molding. And that's something to think about. You don't necessarily have to go clear or, I'm sorry, or pure white or off-white on your molding. You can put a color on the molding, especially if you've got high ceilings and a tray ceiling um, something that's got a great architectural detail. You can go with a beautiful color on the molding and then maybe even do your wall in a much more neutral color. But here what they've done is they've put a, 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 a very 
great, earthy, but very uh, powerful green on the wall, which works so beautifully. And one of the reasons that it works is because of everything they've got going on. Notice the bedding is really neutral. It's a great uh, classic headboard, side table, side chair, and rug and flooring. I don't know if you can see that. But the color works so beautifully with all the furnishings and everything else they've got going on. And then the beautiful molding is just this creamy, buttery color, which I think looks even better than just having it uh, clean and crisp white. I think this buttery yellow looks really beautiful. So color. So the tip about color is go to your local paint store. A lot of them even have computer programs where you can scan a picture of your room, punch in the colors that you want, and you can see that color on the wall uh, in your room on the computer screen or your computer screen at home, which is spectacular. It gives you a sense of what that color is going to look like. So it takes away some of the guesswork. And then you can get these fancy pants books at most of these places that, that really give you an overview of how certain colors that maybe you wouldn't even think about using can look in a space. Um, really good stuff. My perfect example, this very, very pink color. You know, a lot of people wouldn't go with pink, but um, you can make it look good. And, and of course, once you do all your homework, you've got to put it on the wall finally. I always recommend that you do that as the very last step before you make a commitment to purchase the color. Get those little cans that we talked about in an earlier episode of The Daily Tip. Put some color on your wall and see how it looks in your space based on how light changes throughout the day. So that is the tip of the day. It's all about color. And we do have a question. It's not a design question, but it's a question from uh, Ken in, uh, in, I think, I, it's hard for me to make this out, yeah, but I think it's from uh, St. Louis, Missouri, I think. Okay, Ken from St. Louis, Missouri wants to know uh, where I got my bracelet. Ken, it's actually two bracelets, two different bracelets. Uh, this brown one right here is from H&M, uh, really inexpensive. I think I got it for four bucks. And this one right here is from uh, one of my favorite designers, John Bravados, and I got it in New York City, and it was not four bucks. It was a little pricier. I think it was just around a hundred bucks. Um, but uh, check him out. He's, his, his, his menswear is fantastic. He is the Olympic rock star of men's fashion design. Yeah, that was kind of bad. Anyways, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so that's it for the Daily Tip today. Shout out to the Canadian peeps, and of course, to Apollo Ono, rockstar quality. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.